Hello everybody, my name is Tamilola Mike Pamiloye and I'm here to encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can receive notifications and updates on new movies that will be dropping from time to time. So if you've subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing and if you're not, please subscribe. Welcome. <laughs> we really missed you. How was your holiday? Wow, you both are looking radiant. Really? <laughs> Mom, you didn't even tell us where you went for the holiday. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Don't worry. It's a secret. Aww. <laughs> yes, because we did not want you to disturb us. <laughs> but we tried your number severally. It was switched off. But we already told you not to bother calling us. So. Ah, mom, it's because we missed you. Oh, we missed you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, now we're back. Uh, let's the discussion continue in the house while we do the welcome part. You know? oh, <laughs> okay. But first of all, I hope you bought something for us. Plenty ah. things. Okay. <laughs> Go and bring the Yes, mom. <laughs>
You and Dad's lifestyle now, the way you relate together. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I'd love to marry a man like my dad. Wow! <laughs> but remember, we were not like this before. Yeah. Until Christ stepped into our life and transformed our lives. Mm. So we just thank God for His mercy. Mm. Mm. Mom, I'm happy for you. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Ah, brother Mario. Mm? Mommy, mm -hmm. um, you have to tell us where you people went. Because mm -hmm. it was like you traveled abroad. <laughs> you both are looking very cool. Eh? Well, I don't mind the idea. Um, I will like to do the same when I am married. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy you both like the idea. You see, we just felt we needed to be alone to refresh mm -hmm. ourselves and to have time in the lost presence. And it did. It was a very nice time of refreshing. Hmm? What is going on? You guys left my husband in this table and he'll be waiting for his food. Come on, bring the food to the table. <laughs> oh, I think I like that. And so, Father Lord, we thank you for journey mercies. We thank you for this meal that placed before us. We pray you bless and sanctify it and for those that have prepared it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Wow, this meal looks delicious. And I'm sure it. Uh, this is good. Mm. Mm -hmm. It tastes delicious too. <laughs> yeah. Who cooked this? Who prepared this meal? Is it you or you? We bought it. Huh? What of you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. My dear, mm -hmm. I think we should be going on holidays regularly. Better. Mm -hmm. Good. You cook the sauce and the rice and you fry the meat, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you try, huh? Thank That's you. Sir. Thank you. You try. That's good. That's good. Um, sir. We would like to follow you when next you are going with mom for the holiday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, dad. Okay. It shouldn't be for you and mom alone. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be a family holiday. I Seems see. by your and I on holidays now. Mm -hmm. Yes, I see. Dad, we also need to be refreshed. <laughs> As you can see, you both are looking fresh. Especially my mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, come here, man. It means you are envying my wife, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, Dad, no. Just that we like the idea. And um, we would love to go with you when next you are going. And we promise not to disturb you. Yes, Dad. I see. Okay. Okay, my darling. Mm -hmm. When next we're going for holiday, mm -hmm. include the children. Okay, <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. Uh, welcome back, Kuli. How is your wife? <laughs> and how was the trip? Oh, well, I, I'm very grateful. Thank you so much for that wonderful idea. Do you know it was so timely? We only spent one week, and it was as if we had gone for a whole month. In fact, the children were just looking at us when we came back. And they said, ah, that we look as if we just came back from the United States of America. <laughs> yes. It's good like that to take time out and um, relax, you know. Give the body and soul the rest it deserves. That's really very good. <laughs> You're right. Even the children have been begging us that we should include them in the next arrangement whenever we're traveling, that they should follow us. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. well, that's a good idea, but with a different arrangement. Hello, Kule. 
Are you still there? Oh, I'm here. I was just thinking, I was just thinking. Thinking about what? I still find it very difficult to comprehend this mess. Mess? Mess? What kind of mess is that? Is that how people fall? I mean, the situation that led to all this mess, the problems and everything. When I think about it, I wonder how shameful it is. I mean, you know, I feel so ashamed before Yabo. Okay, Kule, that's okay. Look, you better move on with your life and go on, move on to your next level. Next level? What next level are you talking about? <laughs> with all my weaknesses and faults in my life? Look, all I just thank God for Yabo. If not for Yabo, what do you think I would have become? Hmm? She's so sensitive in the spirit, much more than I am. Okay, 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 okay. We thank God for Yabo's life and for making her a virtuous woman. But if I must really tell you the truth, Yabo is simply playing a role in your life. What role? Akule, Yabo was given to you by God as your helper. Not only in the physical, but also to compliment you in the spiritual realm. In every way, God has appointed the two of you together. And that's why the Bible calls her a helpmeet to you. Um, Tony. Matter of fact, you have to tell me, what's your plans for the next stage? Well, I really don't understand what you're saying. Next step like what? I'll explain, Kune. Since you gave your life to Jesus, you have not been doing anything. I mean, why can't you just occupy your time? Come into God's service. Get useful in your local assembly. You can do something for the Lord too, my friend. You mean... Like going about preaching or what? <laughs> mm, not necessarily. No, you don't have to go about carrying the Bible, preaching all over the place, but then you can be involved in doing God's work anywhere you find yourself. That's what we call service. And you can preach the gospel anywhere. You can get involved in service anywhere but you must use your gift for God within your local assembly and anywhere you find yourself maybe even in the office bringing souls into, into the kingdom because God did not create anyone without a gift well I, 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 anyway I think you just have to be praying for me just need to be praying for me that's it and you know being involved in God's service is one of the weapons of warfare to silence the devil over our lives. And Ephesians chapter 6 verse 15 says, And having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Well, thank you Allah. Anyway, the Lord will continue to help us as we grow in, in Him. He will help us at all stages. <laughs> hmm. Going to church. Uh, come, come. What is happening today? Uh, today is Wednesday. I mean, do we have any special program in church today? You know, we were not in church on Sunday. Not really. I've joined the evangelism team of the church, so we're having evangelism today. Huh? 
You? <laughs> you in evangelism team? Yes. Really? How old are you in the faith that uh, you are in evangelism team? By the way, have they really accepted you as a member? Uh, Dad, they were so happy. Eh? They called me out and they prayed for me. Dad, I'm a genuine member. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> now, listen. Um, tell me. So, when you go for evangelism, what are you going to say to the people? How are you going to preach? Ha <laughs> ha, daddy. That's so simple. I'll tell them to give their lives to Christ and to be saved. That's all. Hmm? That's all? You only tell them, give your life to Christ. Give your life to Christ. That's all. You won't add any scripture. You won't read the Bible to convince them. Daddy, I will read the Bible. But in short, we were told to depend on the Holy Spirit because he can convince the people of their sins and not just amounts of words. We were told to open our mouths wide and we feel it. Bayo, when did you join this group? Mommy, when you traveled, I was reading the Bible where Paul encountered Jesus Christ on his way to Damascus. There he fell from the horse and the first question he asked Jesus was, what do you want me to do for you? And the thoughts came within me and I asked myself also, what am I doing for the Lord? Really? Yes, mom. I discussed with my Sunday school teacher on Sunday and he explained why every child of God must do something for the Lord in the church. So he told me to pray about it so I can know what the Lord wants me to do. Hmm. And you prayed? Yes, mom. And what happened next? I felt like preaching the gospel. So I decided to join the evangelism team. <laughs> Your boy is gradually turning to be a pastor. Huh? A pastor? Well, I don't know. Eh? That's all right. Okay. You can go, but don't be late. Thank you, Daddy. All right. Yeah. All right. All the bye bye. Bye. <laughs> this is your boy. <laughs> He's so funny. Before you know, this boy is going to become a pastor. But you know, I once thought you are going to become a pastor with the way you convinced me to become born again. But how come everything just, just relax about the whole thing? Well, nothing is impossible. With God, all things are possible. But you see, you know one thing I believe? It's not until you carry a title before you can actually serve God. Hmm. But I still believe God is trying to tell us something. Like what? There. Yeah. What are we doing for God? Yabo. Yeah, what sort of question is that? I mean, yeah. we, we, apart from going to church every Sunday, what else are we doing? Eh? We don't even involve ourselves in anything. Not even our money. Yabo. Yeah, you don't get carried away by what Bayo is doing. He is a youth. He has the energy for all that and you know the wayward life he used to live before so we thank God that he's actually tending towards something good hmm. but what about us are we not children in the hand of God also eh? <laughs> now listen Yabo. look I know what you are thinking Ola was discussing something like this with me some time ago but haven't carefully thought about this one has to be very careful how one involves himself in church activities. Because if you are not careful, you will just forget your entire vision. Uh -uh. I do. <laughs> My dear, our status has changed now. It has changed from what it used to be. Imagine you collecting that kind of salary for the next three, four years and add it together with my own salary. We will be operating at a different level entirely. We will be able to serve God better. <laughs> like how? Yeah, but like affecting the less privileged by serving orphans and widows. Yeah, but we will be even able to open our own orphanage. That is how we will affect our society. Uh, society? Yes. But dear, I think we are talking about serving God here. 
Look, my dear, when you serve man, you are serving God. Especially if you're in politics. Because your scope of service has gone beyond the four corners of the church. It has gone to the community, which is even better. Politics? Well, what are you saying? <laughs> my dear, hey. children of God are the ones that are most needed in politics. Because, my dear, we are the ones that can change our world and make life better for people. When we change the lives of people, then we are serving God. My dear, people are suffering. And it is my dream to relieve them of their suffering. But you don't belong to any political parties. <laughs> that is very simple. We will start with one step at a time. By the time we start with good works, and advertise our good works to our society and community. Then, people will know us because they are more interested in the good works you do. So, what are you planning to do? Look, my dear, my dream in life, my vision, is to become a governor. Look, hmm. Romans 13.4 has confirmed it that the rulers are actually servants of God yes and uh, I can actually start small I can manage with the House of Representatives yes <laughs> when did you start thinking about this and <laughs> and governor governor of which state ah. of this our state now these things? Yes. <laughs> oh, good. Kule. <laughs> Yabo. Father, we just thank you. We bless your holy name. Thank you for how you've been with us throughout today. Thank you. God, as we go to sleep, we trust that you Bless your holy name. In Jesus' name we are pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, good night everybody. Good night. 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 Oh, you are meeting the church now? Oh, you mean the evangelism? Yes. Mom, it was very wonderful and interesting. Wow. Ah, ah. Hey, tell me more. Ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Yabo. What is the meaning of this? Aren't you not coming to bed? Dear, please, let's hear some good news from our man of God now. Mom, it seems you are so much interested in this <laughs> acting. There you can go. I'll join you soon. You want to have some gist? Well, in that case, mm -hmm. Rose, sit down. Let all of us enjoy the family <laughs> gist. <laughs> Rose, what's up for now? What's wrong with you? Mom. But why is it, why are you all only interested in bios team? I've joined the choir too, Mom. Wow. Yeah. But you didn't tell me. Yeah. What's going on? We have to do something about this. It seems we are the only one left. Can't we join the evangelism team? No, Mom. You know what? Mm -hmm. You join my team, the choir. <laughs> and then Dad can join bios team. It's too late, my dear. As you can see, Mom is more interested in my own thing. So, Mom, um, let's discuss. Let's talk about <laughs> Mom, it. Mom, no. Mom, see, you need to join the choir. No. God needs your voice. Mom is joining evangelism team. No, she's joining the choir. What do you mean? Mom, you're joining the choir. Okay, 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 okay. I'll pray to know which one to belong. But now, let me go and join my husband. 
Good night. Good night. Good night, mom. See, my mom she will be quiet and evangelist. Whether you like it or not, she's going to be quiet. Whether you like it or not, let's wait and see. Good night, mom. 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 Good night, pursuing for some time and um, a general manager would like me to represent the company so we can get the contract. Hmm. Why didn't he go himself? And was that the reason why you can't even wait to listen to the report of our pastor? So by you, of course, the report from the evangelism they went this evening. Look, why are you behaving like a child? Huh? I'm talking about a serious matter, a serious contract. Do you think I'm playing? Look, look, look. I don't have anything against Bayo's spiritual activities. At least it will help him to be more focused. Listen, dear, I'm not comfortable doing nothing for the Lord. If, even the, I don't know why you are talking like this. Even the Bible says we should be doing something for the Lord. It's just that I don't know where the verse is in the Bible. I will have shown you. I know what you're talking about. Uh, let me see. You are talking about where Jesus Christ said um, we should go about preaching the gospel, right? Hmm? I'm opening for you. It is Matthew. Matthew 28. Yeah, this is it. Go ye therefore. Read it. This is it. Where Jesus is talking about. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and do I am with you, even unto the end of the world. Amen. See? Teaching people and making disciples. Yabo, this is talking about a special assignment for special kind of people. For people that are pastors, like our pastor, they have no other work. That's all they do. It is not for everybody, Yabo. Case closed. Everyone has an assignment. Good night. What is wrong with you? Why do you have to switch off the light while we are still talking? Never sleep and stop talking. No, we have not finished our discussion. <clears throat> ah, Yabo. Ah. Look, Yabo, please don't disturb me. Switch off this light. I thought I told you that I have a very special assignment tomorrow and I have to travel. <laughs> Yabo, remember. Wives or be your husbands. But we have to finish our discussion, eh? This is someone who wants to work for God. Mm. Eh? And is not ready to obey simple instruction. That's where it starts from. Mm. You are supposed to obey me as your husband. Eh? Service for God starts with obedience. You have to obey me. <laughs> yeah, but... You are not serious. Kule, you are not serious. Uh -huh. Thank you. My sweet angel. <laughs> Good night. so real. I saw you talking to a very large crowd of people in a big hall. You were on the stage talking, ministry to people. Mm. Yes. Maybe it's, uh, 
Maybe it's a result of the discussion we had yesterday. Exactly. It was so real. Ah, dear. I think we need to ask God to know where He wants us to serve Him. Whatever He wants us to do for Him. Is that the interpretation of the dream? Because I strongly believe the Lord is interested in the discussion we had last night. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. You mean about the contract? You know what? You are correct. In fact, maybe the Lord is giving us his full backing and assurance that all will be well with the contract. Mm. Mm. You know what? The GM actually told me how important that contract is to the company. My dear, if I come back with a positive result, ah, uh, <laughs> my dear, we will be operating at another level entirely. Dear, oh dear. Look, you know what the GM said? The GM said something, but I didn't tell you about it. You know the GM said? The moment I come back with that contract, that it's possible I become the next GM. Yes, yes because he's being sent abroad. He's going to the UK branch to head our London office. Yes, oh. that will intensify your prayers. But there, we, we were talking about the, about our service unto the Lord before the issue of contract came in. So I think the dream is about our service, not about the contract. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Why are you so dull in understanding me? Hmm? Look, I expect you to have understood me better now. Yeah, boy. Do you know my vision? No, tell me. Huh? Yeah, boy. My vision. Hmm. My vision. My vision is to touch the world. Mm. Yes, to touch the world, to affect lives. Yabo, when you are blessed, you can serve people better and God will become glorified. Mm. Now take for example, that our pastor that bought this brand new Lexus Jeep, Tiaroba. Yeah, but won't people not listen to him? Hmm? Of course they will listen to him. Yeah, but don't you like to be respected? Come <laughs> Yeah, but I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. Ah, that is the truth. Look, when we are blessed, we will become a blessing to several other people. And we will be able to build orphanages schools and give out yearly scholarships to the less privileged and children that people do not care about. Good. Good. Look, my dear, if we can be faithful with this, people will become attracted to us. And when we decide to join any political party and we contest for elections, of course we'll be voted for. Imagine. Imagine that a Christian, a child of God, suddenly becomes the governor of the state. And you, Yabo Wale Thompson, you become the first lady of this state. <laughs> How would you feel about it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a good idea, but, but I didn't see it this way. That is what I'm saying. Hmm? The assignment God has for us is beyond the church. Yabo, we belong to the top. Hmm. We belong to the top. Yabo, all this uh, preaching, teaching Bible studies, singing in the choir, they are for small children. They are for small children. They are bored. They are for small children. Eh? I am happy that our children are involved in it. That's okay. That's all right. <laughs> but why didn't you tell me this before? Yeah. I didn't even tell Ella. 
you know, because he can be so vazillous about uh, all these things. And I don't want him to hinder me. It's a secret. And I don't want you to share it with them. Keep it to yourself. Until when the Lord wants us to share it. But what about our pastor? He may, he may want to pray for us. No, 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 my dear. I don't want you to discuss with anybody at all. At mm. all. Look, you know what I require from you? Keep praying about this vision. Especially about the contract. Mm. Our company must get this contract. Amen. I must find favor before the minister in Abuja. Mm. And I must get this promotion. Because it is the money from this promotion that we used to do all these projects like the orphanage, the scholarships and so on. Dear, you are coming home with that contract in Jesus' name. Amen. Ah, your company will be awarded in Jesus' name. Amen. Ah, God knows that it's for his work and it shall be, and it shall be established. God will establish it in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh. Ah. I'm happy that you share my vision. I'm happy that you understand my vision. And we're united on this matter. Mm. And we are born on it. See, because unity is what God needs to move. Mm. You know what? What is <laughs> hey. it? Hey! You are going to become mm. the first lady of this state that people have been praying for. Ah. <laughs> and they will love you oh. because you will become a mother to all. Amen. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I receive it, my dear. Amen. I receive it. <laughs> ah, my dear, I receive it. <laughs> Amen. Ah, ah, let us pray. Amen. Let us pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Ah, God will go before your soul. Amen. You will go before you. We are living in a world that is complicated. Right seems wrong and the wrong seems right. Now, Mr. Thompson, all you have to do is to go straight to the minister's office and collect the approval letter for the contract. Make sure that you do everything possible to arrive his office before he does. Because there are so many people after the same contract. Anyway, the minister is a friend to our chairman and they are even from the same village. Really? He has even assured us that that contract is ours. However, he warned that we must make sure that our representative arrives his office very early. So you must do everything possible to make sure that you arrive before 8 a.m. Sir, that won't be a problem because I intend to go with the evening flight to Abuja so I can sleep over in Abuja and get there before 8 a.m. That will be better. Everything you need has been taken care of. Only, you know what this contract means for this company. Please, no mistakes. What did I say? No mistakes. Good. We all trust you. That is why we all said you should go for us. Please, do not disappoint. <sighs> By the special grace of God, sir, the Lord will take charge and I will come back with a testimony. Good. Sir, is there any other information? Uh, will that be all? No. So can I take my leave now, sir? Yes. Best of luck. Thank you very much, sir. We you, sir. are living in a world of countless decisions Where to go and who to follow and who to trust my dear, the Lord is working out all things. Everything is just working out fine. Can you believe it? The minister is a friend to our chairman. We are from the same village. Wow, praise God. Are you now in Abuja? No, not yet. I'm still in the office, but I won't come home tonight because I'll be going with the evening flight straight to Abuja. I have to be in the minister's office before 7 a.m. Okay, the Lord will go with you. We shall be praying for you. Amen, amen. Please just continue praying. Love you. Love you too. But make sure you call when you get to Abuja, okay? I will do that. Thank you. God bless you. Oh, but everybody knows, everyone knows that the clock is ticking. So choose this day who you will be serving. Serve the Lord. Yeah. As for me and my house, there is no other God. 
Mom, you called me. Yes, I actually called both of you. So, where is my mom? He's in his room. Go and call him for me. But mom, is anything going on? You're looking too serious. Have you heard from dad? Is he about the contract? Will you stop all these questions and call Bayo for me, please? But mom, it's because I'm concerned about you. I want you to be happy. <laughs> okay. I appreciate it. Okay. But now, tell me, what's going on? <laughs> you see, I actually wanted to talk to you and your brother. So you know what, my dear? You go in there right now and call your brother for me, okay? Okay, mom. Mom, Rose told me you need both of us for some serious discussion. <laughs> There's no problem. Sit down. There's no problem. There's nothing serious, eh? Mom, mm, I just want to tell you some things. I really thank God for your life. I mean, both of you are going spiritually. And you see, Daddy too has a very great vision. And part of the fulfillment of the vision is what he has gone to Abuja to do. But, Mom, I heard you people talking about a contract. Yes. Huh. Daddy must come back home with that contract. And the Lord must favor him because he is going there on behalf of his company. And if the journey to Abuja is successful, your dad will be promoted to another level. Mom, Mom, I don't understand. I thought you are talking about vision. So what has getting a contract got to do with vision? A lot, my dear. Ha, a lot. Because one thing must lead to another before the fulfillment of the vision. And we need money to implement the vision because the vision is very great. So we are going to pray that the God of heaven will favor your dad. Amen. And that he must come back home with testimony. Amen. So, shall we pray? Let's join your hands. We are going to pray. pray. We just pray that God will give Daddy that contract. He must come back home with that contract. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, what is wrong with you? Is that time to pray? Hey, see, see the way you are praying. You better pray. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? You have to pray very well. Do you, do you know that when God finishes what He has started to do in our family, hey, this home, this family will be operating in another level. And even your own life, your own life will be transformed. People will see you, they will see the glory of God upon your life. So we are going to pray that the Lord will favor a son. That no other person will have that contract, no other company except that this company. Prayer is the name of Jesus. Father, we are praying. In the name of Jesus. No other company must get access to that. Baba, do it. Pray. Do it, Lord. Yes, Lord. Do it, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That any part of that is that we hinder our blessing yes. in any form. Holy Ghost fire will crush yes. them. Yes. Prayer in the name of Jesus. Any power, any force of evil, that one of us will hinder our blessing. Holy Ghost fire, in the name of Jesus. Crush them, fire from above. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, 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 fire,
Ali, what are you doing? Uh -huh. But you didn't tell me you were going to travel. Did you tell me you were going to travel? Because I didn't know I was going to travel. See, as soon as I got the call that I was going to come to Abuja this morning, your line was the first that I called. You, you called my number? I called your number. Did you call your number? I called your number. See, will I be lying? The first thing I did was to call your number. And even your wife picked it up and said that you are on a business trip. When I insisted, she said, eh, she didn't even tell me you were coming to Abuja. She just told me that she didn't know the place. So how come you are eventually here in Abuja? How come you are here now? Don't mind you. It's Chuks, Chuku Emeka, Chuk. our director of business development. He was the one supposed to come. But suddenly he came down with malaria yesterday. He didn't even come to the office. And you know what IMD said? No, what do you have said? He said it must be the work of our enemy. <laughs> yes, because actually Chooks was supposed to have arrived at Abuja yesterday. But he kept pushing it, thinking that he was going to be okay until he found himself in the hospital. Mm. The moment he said that, so the MGO urgently called my number, saying that it was Pastor who had to make the trip, saying that I should go and give it a trial because we needed a miracle in this matter. Mm. Mm. So you have a pastor in your office? <laughs> Don't mind them. That's what they call me. Mm. Yes, because I preach to everyone in the office, including the MD himself. Really? As a matter of fact, we even have a fellowship in the office that meets at 3 p.m. every Friday. You won't believe it. So that's how I found myself here for this contract. Hmm? Yes. You mean you are here for the same contract I'm here for? Jesus Christ, don't tell me. That's what I've come for. You are here for that contract? Yes, now. Yes. Ah. Hey, do you know that is what all these other people are here for? Yes. In fact, I was the second person to arrive here. The minister is already in his office. When he came, he greeted all of us. And he asked us to write their names and the names of our companies. And we have submitted it to his secretary. Look, you are late. So look, my friend, my brother, or oh, pastor, let me just advise you. You better go outside and wait for me because you're already late. The minister has all our names. So just wait for me outside so we'll fly back together. Yes. Eh, no problem. <laughs> At least I've done my own. But meanwhile, why don't I just see the secretary and probably submit my paper? Even if I won't be able to see the minister, at least I would have submitted my papers. Maybe. Maybe not. It might not be able to see the minister at all. Mm -hmm. well, let me see, madam. Yes, she did. She even asked for the name from my the name of my company. She has taken the papers inside. Look, have you met this woman before? No. But my father knows her. Okay. Yes. Very well. So she had no choice. She knows your father. That means she's from your village. They're from the same place. Kunle, Kunle. I'm talking about our father. Our father in heaven. Huh? Yes. <laughs> is coming back. Mm. I think she has information from those of you who came early. Okay, so information for yeah. us, for yeah. us.
Oh, what happened, eh? We, we, we prayed. We fasted. I even prayed with the children. Eh? And he also said the minister is a friend to your chairman. What, what went wrong? Yeah, boy. Ah. I don't understand. I can't explain it. Eh? Ah. Hey! Ola came last. Hmm? He only obeyed his boss. They were not expecting anything at all. Uh, uh. But it was his company that was awarded the contract. Hey, uh. unbelievable. Well, what happened? Hey? I can't understand. I can't explain. Oh. The secretary to the minister, mm -hmm. she came to inform us that the minister would not be able to see any one of us because he got an urgent call for a meeting with the president. Okay. So we all left and went outside the building, including Ola. We were discussing when he saw an old friend. We greeted each other. Mm -hmm. And you know, his flight was 5 p.m. So I left for the airport without him while he stayed with his friend discussing. Well, you should have waited for him. That man must have helped him. How come? Well, how is that possible? That is not possible. They can't do that. They couldn't have done that. If I can, that is not possible. That is not possible. How could the man have helped him? Anything is possible. Anything is possible. I don't think so. I don't think so. Ah. Ah. Uh, well, our chairman was so sad. He was so sad. He was angry, but he couldn't get angry with me because he knew I arrived at the office very early. Oh. Well, it pained him. It pained everybody considering the amount we had spent on that contract. Oh. Well, I will call Ola to find out what exactly happened. <sighs> this is serious. But, but you said the minister is a friend to your chairman. They were childhood friends. They are from the same village. Hey. <laughs> My dear, hmm? man cannot be trusted at all. Man cannot be trusted. Ola said something. What was it? He said something that touched me. What was it? Hmm. When he came, he went to meet the secretary. Mm -hmm. And he was discussing with her. He was chatting. They were chatting as if they had known each other for long. Mm -hmm. But they did not know each other from Adam. Uh -uh. Yes. When I asked him, I said, does he know this lady? He said, no. But his father knows her. Oh, his father. I thought he was talking of Baba Loyo. But he said, no, not his earthly father. His heavenly father knows her. Jesus Christ. That thing touched me, my dear. Ah, oh. touched me. No wonder. Who? Hmm. The Lord made a way for him. Hey! And the Lord bypassed all protocol, my dear. This is the Lord's doing. Ah! This is the Lord's doing. Ah! I really don't understand. To me, to me, if you want to know the truth, the best I can tell you is that it's by divine favor. Yeah, I know, I know. But what exactly happened? What happened? But we... You remember we were together in the minister's office? Yes. And then the woman came and told us that the minister would not be able to see us again on that day, that we could all go. Yes, they said so. And they said they might get in touch with us. So you and I left the place together. Was that not what happened? Yes. <laughs> but as soon as we got out, we saw this young man who was a friend to my brother. Oh, you remember now? The young doctor who came into this house when we had a bio... Your brother. Yes. My brother, yes, his friend 
met us outside and he was very excited to see me and we started discussing you know that was when i had to ask you to go since my own flight was evening flight yes yeah. I, I left <laughs> as soon as you left the secretary came back and started asking where are the others and i told her that obviously they had gone because they asked us to leave so she asked me to come along with her immediately you know where she took me to she, that was how i found myself before the honorable minister hmm? you know the minister he <laughs> said he had just come from a meeting with mr president and that the president was very interested in this contract and wanted it executed fast jesus christ my brethren I could not believe what was going on until I collected the documents and contract papers and my company was awarded the contract based on our past records. <laughs> hmm. It's just a miracle. Just a miracle. And I give God all the glory. Hmm. To God be the glory, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Congratulations, sir. Thank you very, very much. But you know the scripture that came to mind as, jo as these events were going on? It was Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 11, which says that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong. And I again remembered Psalm 75 verse 6 that says, that promotion cometh neither from the east, west, nor even south, but that God is the judge of all, who puts down one and exalts another. Hmm? You are right. Ola, it is true. You are right. Huh? My friend, Kone, I don't want you to feel bad about what has happened. Only, I want you to be encouraged. To me, those are the additions God said He would add unto us when we are serving Him faithfully. Okay? In fact, the Bible says that when we seek His kingdom and its righteousness, He's going to add all these things to us. Adi? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So, I want you to be encouraged. You okay? My friend, Kunle, your own miracle will come soon. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, <laughs> Pastor. Pastor? When did it happen? I wouldn't hear anything about that. Don't mind your husband. <laughs> My dear, you can't understand, but I will explain to you later. Okay. Ah, well. Congratulations, Pastor. <laughs> Thank Congratulations, you. sir. Thank you very much, my sister. Come on, your husband. <laughs> but then, it is well, okay? Mom? Yes? Is Daddy not coming to the table? Daddy's busy now. He may not hear with us now, but he will hear later. Is it because of the contract? Ever since Daddy came back from Abuja, he has not been happy. Rose, it's okay. Mom, can I go and see him? What's going wrong with this girl? Can't you keep quiet for a while? Must you always speak on me? It's okay, it's okay. See, your Daddy needs to be left alone now. Okay? Well, we were taught in church that when God is dealing with somebody, you don't intrude. So I believe God is dealing with that. Bio, please repeat what you just said. Ha! Your mouth. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Dad. 
I was just talking. I'm sorry. I'm not angry, my boy. I just want to hear it again. I'm not. I just want you to say it again. I just want to hear it. Say it now. I, 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 I said when God is dealing with a man, one must not intrude. And? And that God is dealing with that. You're right. You're right. You're right. Now, shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you for this meal. We pray that you bless this meal, bless the hands that prepared it. We pray you remember those that have nothing to eat and provide for them. In Jesus' mighty name we've prayed. not for the swift for promotion comes neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south but God is the judge he puts down one and exalts Another. God. My God. Ah. Wow. 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 And he crowned it with. Matthew 6.33 Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things shall be added unto you. 
because I strongly believe the Lord is interested in the discussion we had last night. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. You mean about the contract? You know what? You are correct. In fact, maybe the Lord is giving us his full backing and assurance that Paul will be well with the contract. Mm -hmm. You know what? The GM actually told me how important that contract is to the company. My dear, if I come back with a positive result, uh, <laughs> my dear, we will be operating at another level entirely. Dear. Oh dear. Look, you know what the GM said? The GM said something, but I didn't tell you about it. You know, GM said, ah, the moment I come back with that contract, that it's possible I become the next GM. Yeah. Yes, because he's being sent abroad. He's going to the UK branch to head our London office. Yes, that will intensify your prayers. But there, we, we were talking about the about our service unto the Lord before the issue of contract came in. So I think the dream is about our service, not about the contract. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Why are you so dull in understanding me? Hmm? Look, I expect you to have understood me better now. Yabo, do you know my vision? No, tell me. Huh? Yabo, my vision. No, my vision. My vision is to touch the world. Yes, to touch the world, to affect lives. Yabo, when you are blessed, you can serve people better. And God will become glorified. Now, take for example that our pastor that bought this brand new Lexus Jeep, Tiaroba. Yeah, but won't people not listen to him? Hmm? Of course, they will listen to him. Yeah, but don't you like to be respected? My God, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God, I my God, Don't worry. The Lord will make a way, eh? Your own time will come. I'm sorry. Hmm? No. He's there. I'm not crying because of the contract that I lost. No, no. I'm crying because that dream that you had, I misled you. I'm crying because I'm sad that I failed. I misinterpreted that dream. You were right. When you saw me preaching before, I now know that promotion indeed comes from God. Oh, God. <laughs> you see, the Lord spoke through my son. 
when he said God is dealing with his daddy, oh. that is true. The race is not for the swift. It is important to seek first the kingdom of God and all these things that I've been chasing. Will be added. Will be added. Oh, yeah, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm misled. I'm sorry. I misled you. I'm sorry. There, there. That's okay. That's okay. The Lord will teach us and guide us on what to do in His vineyard. Okay. Hmm? Yeah. It's okay. We are very sorry, Lord. We are very sorry for what we have been doing, working against your cancer. Father, we promise to serve. Guess who we saw in church today? You mean your dad? <laughs> so you plan it without informing me? <laughs> Daddy has decided to join your team. And he told me he'd be going with two people for evangelism today. Oh, everyone was surprised to see Dad in church, especially the pastor. Wow. <laughs> ah, I'm so happy to have Dad in my team. <laughs> so we're going for the meeting together. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> God is doing something great in our own. I know. But how come Daddy suddenly decided to join the evangelism? Uh, what? Can't you just do without asking questions? <laughs> Leave her alone. She's just being curious. Baby, Small. I think we need to thank God for this new development in our home. But few people started it when we traveled, and uh, we too decided to join the move. Mm, exactly, Mom. And you know what? The Lord taught us one very important lesson recently. That it pays to serve the Lord. And when you seek His kingdom and His righteousness, all other blessings will be added to you. Hmm. Mom, that's a Matthew 6 33. Hmm. That's how I get are you very sure of that chapter, Our Lady Evangelist? Yes, of course. You check it out. Mom, hmm? you don't believe our pastor here doesn't know a simple verse in the Bible. I don't believe See, that. It's as simple as John 3.16. Uh, Tell me what's there. <laughs> me? Just say it. John 3.16. Say it. Eh? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son mm -hmm. that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life oh, 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 oh. That's my for god's sake my we use this scripture anytime we are going for evangelism <laughs> <laughs> no wonder that was the only verse you memorized in the bible you need to learn other verses too oh, oh, oh. okay okay <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for your advice. You're welcome. Brother, come back to the kitchen. Oh, don't stay in your room. Oh. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Oh, oh really? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Ah, wait. I don't think it would be wise for you to follow me. Maybe you should go with your own car. Yeah, I don't feel like driving today. Please. You know why? I'll be going to church immediately I finish from the office. For what? Today is no prayer meeting. We have evangelism today. We are going to the prison. And I told Bayo not to wait for me that he should find his way to church. Mm. But okay, I'll follow you to the prison. Hmm? Yes. Are you sure? I'll follow you. Don't to the wait. prison? Yes, if Pastor will send me back. Of course not. Pastor will be glad if every member of the church becomes a member of the evangelism team. Mm. No problem, let's go. We can even here together in my office before we go in the evening. Uh, we are told to fast today. Oh? That's the instruction Pastor gave us. Ah. So if you want to follow me, you will have to fast. And I didn't plan for that today. Um, anyway, I will fast today. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, I will fast. Wow, that's my God. Pastor, <laughs> me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Yeah. As for me and my house, there is no other God. Yeah. Brakuli, what happened to you today in the prison? Sir, I can't explain it, sir. I did not understand it, sir. You can't explain it? <laughs> it's amazing. I can't believe you are the one talking. And the ministration that followed was very, very awesome. Sir, I can't explain it, sir. I was so shocked when you asked me to preach. Because I wasn't expecting to preach. I was so sad when I looked at those men and I saw the condition they were in. And confined in such a place. Oh, it was looking so terrible, sir. And I didn't know what to say, sir. I, 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 I was just, you know, short of words. But then, all of a sudden, that scripture came to me in John 3.16, which says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And that was it, sir. Every other thing apart from that, I could not understand. I, uh, sir, honestly, I could not understand. And I became even more afraid when I prayed. And some of the inmates received their healing instantly. I, 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 I was frightened, sir. Sir? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. It was not me, sir. Clearly, it was not me. I can say that, sir. Because I am not that spiritual, sir. It was not you. Then who did it? Ah, it was the Lord, sir. It was the Lord, sir. It was not me. It was not me. That's it. God just wants to show you that He can use anyone who decides to make Himself available. You're right, sir. You're right, sir. You're right, sir. <laughs> My brother, do you know God has been waiting for you long before now? You know, you have been busy pursuing your own ways. To what has been happening to you, you will know this. God has been so good to you by keeping you alive. So you know, God does not do anything without a purpose, my brother. That's true, sir. So, Rakuni, I'm very, very happy that you eventually responded to his call. So, Rakuni, when you seek God and his kingdom, he will establish you and fulfill all your heart's desire. Rakuni, every child of God is God's instrument. If you look inward very well. All those gifts are for the expansion of God's kingdom. 
for his righteousness to reign on earth. And he will surely come back to reward us. All right, my brother, this is just the beginning. And God will still do more in your life and your family. You tell your wife. But I'm very, very happy to see her today. God bless you. Good night. Thank you, sir. Good night, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. What did you pass us <laughs> It was about the ministration hmm. that happened in the prison today. Hmm. It was amazing, my dear. I, I could not believe it was to you. I'm happy I went with you today. Ah, my husband is a man of God, and I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, my dear. Yes. Oh, my dad is the pastor. <laughs> wow. I was afraid when one of the inmates was shouting and fell under anointing when yes. dad laid hands on him. Oh. Wow. You mean my dad? Dad, please tell me more. The Lord surprised everybody today, mm. including the pastor. The Holy Spirit fell on your dad in a special way. Mm. Ah, dad ministered so powerfully that held everyone spellbound. I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> That's my dad. Hallelujah. Dad, how did you feel when the Spirit of God came upon you? Please tell me. Oh, you people are embarrassing. <laughs> That's okay. Look, Rose, I really can't explain. I can't explain. You see, because God is always happy whenever we make ourselves available for Him to use us. And you know, it's not by power, not by might, but by His Spirit. Amen. You are right, my dear. You are right. You see, and I never knew God could ever use me. Because I had my own plans and I had my own ways. But God taught me to understand that a man's steps are ordered by God. And how else can a man understand his way? Hmm. Dad, the Lord will strengthen you to do more. Because I can sense in my spirit that this is just the beginning. Hmm. We need to pray for him as a family. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Not only for me, but also for my wife. Because I was so glad that she was there at the ministration. And, um, and also for our entire family. That the Spirit of God will fall mightily upon us. Amen. And that we will be useful vessels Amen. in his hands. As shall we all pray. We are grateful, oh Lord. We are grateful, oh Lord, for all you have done for us. We are grateful, oh. Let us begin to commit each and every one of us in the hands of the Lord. As for me and my house, there is no other God. Oh, but everybody knows, everyone knows that the clock is ticking. So choose this day who you will be. My dear? My dear? Come, 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 come. What is it? Eh? Maria, come. Look at it. Look at it. This is a letter. Hmm? From Pastor. From Pastor. Mm -hmm. Look at it. And the church. Yes, and the church. They are, they are seeking our consent. That's it. That they want to ordain us as deacon and deaconess. Next week, Sunday. Yeah. What is going on? <laughs> I don't know. I can't 
can't explain this. I don't know. So what are you going to do now? That's why I called you. Is, is, is it not too much? I don't know. Take me. Eh? But I think it's of the much there. Yeah. Anyway, it's from Pastor and the judge. We can't reject it. <sighs> Anyway, so what should I do? You're a man of God. So, you know what to do. Hmm? So, reply them. Great promotion, you know. Mm. Hmm? Yes. And you know, you will never fail Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Mm. Amen. <clears throat> mm. uh, well, we thank God for your life, um, Mr. Ola, and also my sister. <laughs> uh, Mom, we thank you so much. Mm. Yes. You have been a great blessing to us. Thank you, sir. Mm. You know, it was just last week. It came as a surprise to us yes, mm. when the pastor just sent us a letter saying that the church has agreed and has selected us for ordination. Mm. Yes. As Deacon and Deaconess. Just, just last just week. Just last week. Mm -hmm. Uncle, mm -hmm. we don't even know what this God is doing again. Mm -hmm. We are not supposed to understand. Mm. Is that not why he is God? Mm -hmm. His ways are past finding. Mm -hmm. All we have to do is continue to be faithful to him because he is God. Yes, so we are so grateful to God and thank God for what he's doing in your family. Yes. Ah, yes. to God be the glory. Hallelujah. <laughs> I must thank you, Mumi Tope and uh, my brother, because your, your life has been a blessing unto us. You have inspired us and uh, you have given us direction for our faith. Mm. To be able to discover our destiny and purpose in God. Amen. Yes. Right. Yes. yes. Mm. And then that is the more reason why we say we should just come <laughs> and die with us in the Lord's presence. Oh, mm. Thank mm. you. Mm. We are highly honored. Yes. 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 Thank you. That's the mm. major reason for the invitation. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. yes. Yes. Mm. yes. Mm. Thank you. Ah, mommy, talk where. Our mother in this way. Our mother in this way. Thank God for your life because your, the desire of your heart has come to pass today. Amen. Yes. You have prayed and made sure that we are all not only children of Most High God, mm. but also servants of God in His vineyard. Hallelujah. And um, we pray that God will continue to sustain you. Amen. That is why. You're coming today, you are going to pray for our family. Yes. And you are going to <laughs> pray that God will specially prepare us for this assignment Amen. He has given us. Amen. Hmm. I don't want to pray. Hmm? No, 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 no. Let it be like that. You deserve that honor. Yes. Uh -uh. Huh? And that's why we are all saying thank you to thank God you. for calling us into the fold. Amen. Eh? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Where are the children? Um, Rose. Fire. Rose. <laughs> <Hey>. Lovely <laughs> children. God bless you. Oh, Congratulations. Yeah. 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 So, Congrats. So big guy now. Congrats. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our Father and our God, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Jehovah, we give you praise. Hallelujah. Thank you for this family. Thank, thank you, Father. Thank you for what you are doing in the life of our brother and our sister. Thank you. Father, we give you praise. Hallelujah. We pray for more grace, Amen. more anointing, Amen. grace that will be sufficient Amen. to do this assignment. Amen. 
thank you father for thank you, everything Christ. thank you you will keep them amen. your blessing will be with them amen, amen. in jesus name we are praying amen, amen. Hallelujah. well mommy <laughs> my sister this is yeah. another for the no, 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 no. so we should cling <laughs> to the glory of god hallelujah god No. Ah, there is. Wait, wait, my God. Oh. It starts with me. Mm -hmm. There we go. There we go. Okay. Oh, no, you wait. <laughs> I go this way. So here you are. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And um, mm -hmm. and this is a toast mm. to this call. Mm. Amen. Amen. To this wonderful family. Amen. Amen. And to the future of service in the Lord God. Amen. 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 <laughs> clink, <laughs> clink, <laughs> clink. <laughs> Mama, this is good. Let you go to glory. Okay, please. I want us all to start with, with my dad, the King Olakoni Thompson. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, can we say Jesus? Jesus. Okay. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Okay, um, mom and dad now. Okay. All uh, right. Okay, this is beautiful. All right. Lisa, <laughs> can you help us? Oh, oh I'll do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lovely family. This is beautiful. Mm. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay, so what next? Can we go to the table? The food is set. Oh, oh, you. Oh, you. <laughs> Always. <laughs>